So it's time for us to dive into the hedge, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Bigger Nuggets, and today we're gonna be covering everything that you need to find in the hedge. That's including the hedge lab, all the data. We're gonna be finding all the milk molars, scabs, what resources are in the hedge, everything. I'm gonna be going down through everything with you guys to help you guys out. Because when I first started grounded, uh, it was painful. Like I kept dying to everything. It was a huge grind. I struggled so much, but I love this game. And so I want to make these guides for you guys. We're going to be covering the pond as well because there's a lot in the pond for us to cover. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's dive into the hedge. All right, guys, let's kick off this guide. So pretty much as you're making your way up, be careful around here because there's mites, but there's also a lot of bombardment beetles and larva are a pain in the butt. I hate them so, so much. Now to access the hedge, this is gonna be the hedge ascent right here. You can build up, you can, but I mean, I've never really built up here at all for anything. I just go up this way and we're gonna find the field station here. Bam, and you got some bars. So now in each field station, you're gonna find these tapes, right? The Kinder Science lab so if we go to data, as well as and you see this is the first one in the in the hedge. So um, a lot of the field stations in the hedge and in the actual labs, we're gonna find all the data that we need for each one. And you need to have all these completed for each lab, from the pond to um, uh, there's no sandbox. Everything you gotta have all these full. Uh, in order to 100% the game. Now, other thing too, I would honestly place a little mini base here. Something small. I do something small in, in each area just because uh, I learned it the hard way because I used to always have to run back and forth, grab uh, resources and stuff, but instead I could just grab them and stock them, stock them up and then we'll be good. The hedge, one of the main resources you're going to get from the hedge is going to be these berries. You can just shoot them with an arrow. And they fall straight down to the ground. You need a level two. No, no just a level one to break these bad boys up. And you get about three to four berry chunks from it. Now, if you're going to craft berry chunks um, to berry leather... It takes three chunks to make one berry leather, right? But if you actually just put them in the jerky rack, they will become leather on their own. So I would honestly not uh, waste three chunks. Instead, just throw them on a jerky rack and make a couple jerky racks and just let them dry out and they will become uh, berry leather. Because berry leather, you're going to need berry leather to craft a lot of the level two armor sets. Ladybug armor... B armor, the spider armor, and you're gonna need it for some weapons. The black ant shield, black ant sword, insect hammer. You're gonna, uh, the berry leather is very, um, you're gonna need it for a lot of things right there. So I would honestly recommend just having a little mini base right here and making your way up to actually get all uh, the berry chunks and just have them stocked up here so you can always just wait till they respawn after you get everything and you're good to go. Another thing in the bottom area here, if we make our way towards um, this little spot around. over here, the outlet. There's actually two things over here. There is a milk molar right there. And on the very top, there is also a scabby. So what we're going to do is we're just going to build our way up. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here is the first milk molar. Bam. There you go. Make sure you grab that one. And we're going to keep building up. And right up here is going to be your scabby. Scabby. Additional flavor scheme available. And that's the cyber strike. Also, 
larva here. Time to harvest. Be careful with all the larva here as well. There's going to be a skeleton right here in the map. Right next to the thing right here. Right next to. You're going to see the skeleton. And this is going to have uh, some snapshots, a badge, and a journal. You need all this because that's going to be the data for Ominent. You need to collect all the Ominent data. And all the Ominent data is going to be in all oh of the skeletons. And uh, and so you're going to need that. So that's pretty much over here. Two of the main important stuff that honestly oh I didn't get in a while. I forgot to actually get all those. And now let's actually make our way through the hedge. Now there's a bunch of raw science everywhere. Like I said, if you want to 100% the game, I don't know if there's like a particular amount of raw science you need to get, but I would just get enough raw science to buy all the re uh, all the all the recipes that you can buy from Burgle through each chip and everything. So we're gonna make our way. One of the one of the locations you do need to discover is gonna be this bad boy right here, you, which we will unlock it right now once you get close. And if you guys notice as well. There is a mint, a mint milk molar right up here, which we'll get in a second. We're going to make our way through. All these zip lines are already made, so we're chilling. Zip your way through. I will say this. If you com continued with your save, um, there was a little robot that I had, that I had, re I had continued with my own save. You go to this building right here. And if you missed a robot... They're actually right here. Right here. I see you. These guys are not too hard to beat. And once you beat them, you just get some raw science. There's two of them. Just some more raw science. We get some more data. And again, all this data is what we need. As you guys can see, the reboot. You get some stuff here. You pull this, this is a survey scanner to kick on the actual uh, survey uh, devices for you to locate uh, different items if you're having trouble finding a particular item, which I'll show you guys in the actual uh, field stations. But this is how you act there. Oh, see, we, there's actually one right there in the field stations you can see. So that's to actually locate particular items in case you guys didn't know surveyor connection established use survey stations to scan for analyzed material, material. there you go and so it's got to be analyzed Visit material stations to expand the survey network. and the more field stations you get the more you're going to be able to find more things we're going to make sure you guys find everything reboot that's another data that we need we get some actual brutal quartzite from there we got a tape and that's a Burgle transcription. So if you go over to Burgle, these are all the ones you need to get as well for Burgle. You got to find all of Burgle's things as well. Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I believe them to be far superior to the Mark IVs. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. We're gonna make our way over here. There's another little tower or little lab that's broken up over here. More raw science. See, there's gonna be another tape here for you to grab. Make sure you grab it. And there's gonna be a scabby here. Make sure you grab all the scabbies because you do need all the scabbies. So there's a scabby right here in the lab in the hedge. All right. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is once you hit this lab, you're gonna make it right here you're gonna jump on top of this cord make your way over here let me get the light and this is how we're gonna get that milk molar and another scabby get the raw science so here be careful here it's gonna take a bit of parkouring because it's honestly when I was trying to get this scabby over here it took me a bit to get to to be honest like uh it's actually it's a little hard not it's not too hard you gotta jump right here honestly so you can make it i made it. there we go bam there we go 
Just gonna jump, jump, jump. Oh, man. If you fall, that's fine. You can actually just... You can actually get back up from here. You got a bunch of trees right here. Bam. Bam. And there is your scabby. This one's the one that I... It was hard for me to get. I could not find that scabby. It's one of the harder ones for me to find. And here you can just kind of parkour your way over to this... Uh, to this bad boy over here. And I love that you can just walk on all the leaves and stuff. And you're pretty much good to go. Bam. Milk molar. Oh, wrong one. And you're going to need a level 2 hammer to break all the all the milk molars just a heads up for those of you because this is the first map this is the first one you really do but you you will need a level two hammer to uh to get all that there so just a heads up to anybody uh if you're just starting off you are going to need that level two hammer all right guys so let's continue our way through the hedge now that we've gone that side and did all this over here we're just going to continue our way up <clears throat> there's another let's see what's around here there's another zip line over there. There's a zip line over here, but you're gonna need to throw in at least like 20 silk rope for that. Because now they're doing it that you need 20 silk rope for everything. All right. We're gonna zip our way over. There's really not much else over here. Once we come up this way, this is the flying disc man, is another. Uh, in that sucker all the way to Miss Marlowe's yard. Bam. So this is another one of the areas you need to discover. There's also a scabby right here. Supreme. And this, my friends, is going to be the broodmother entrance. Now, for the broodmother, I'm going to do a video on, you know, easiest ways to fight her. Best strats to fight her and stuff. If because chemistry class was this easy. once you go in here, um, you're going to need the BLT. And you actually get the BLT recipe here in the hedge, which I'll be showing you guys as well. But yeah, so this is the broodmother layer, and she won't appear until you actually have the brood, the broodmother BLT. Place it in here as an offering. As you can see, BLT uh, and summon boss, and then you will have the boss fight with the broodmother, which I will be covering in another video. All right, let's make our way. Let's continue to the hedge lab. You're gonna follow me exactly. We're gonna hit this zip right here. You're gonna find in here some more stuff. Pick it up. There is another. Voice module thingy there. From my All right. For a family day. I'll admit the argument that preceded my reluctant agreement was one for the ages. She just doesn't gonna make our way over. The work is. But in the end, that is the mixer down there, which I will cover in a second. It, our little trip to Storm and Beaches Wave Park has given me fresh inspiration. A particular make our way over here. Sported a zip line over an undulating pool filled with sun baked tubers, basking in the light of the cruel sun that baked them like red, red raisins. <laughs> so, this is the hedge lab, guys. We are officially here. It was the zip line that captured my imagination. Such an elegant and you, can, you guys can ignore the audios and stuff. <laughs> when we got home, it was straight back to work after another argument, of course. Of course. There it is. So that is one of the one of the tapes that you need. As you can see, as we're progressing through, you're getting all the tapes. We're getting everything, reboot, all that stuff. The last three bits are going to be inside the actual hedge itself. And now let's go ahead and go into the actual hedge lab, everybody. Bam! So a hedge lab breach. Here is another tape right there. And we're going to go ahead and enter the hedge lab. Prices on steel cable are ridiculous, so I've been forced to proceed with my go over here. Idea. Open up the door. More more quartzite and stuff. So we need to find a password in order to open this, right? So see there's the password right there. Things were going 
pages are all ripped. She's gonna make her way through. And Hedge Lab discovered. And and pretty much if we go to places, we go to the Hedge and we've pretty much gotten a lot of the things we need. There's still some other little things that we need to get that are on the ground floor that we're gonna get for places. So there is the other, um, another tape right there. So with data wise, we almost have everything but one more, which we will find as we progress. Here is one of the passwords, right in the first one. Also, make sure you guys shoot those. Before you actually slide in them, because uh, it will drop you. I've done that before multiple times. We're gonna go here. There's another piece of the password right there. Remember, the sacks actually spawn in more spiders. If you go all the way to the end right here, guys, there's gonna be another scabby right there. Make sure you guys pick that up. Ghost mint. Now we're just gonna make our way. I'm gonna keep pushing forward and there is actually a gold milk molar right here guys and remember the gold milk molar is pretty much for the whole team this uh this levels up everybody in the whole team and the and the regular milk molars just level up uh you just yourself I'm just gonna keep going we're actually gonna make a left this way Bunch of berries right here, guys. Make sure you guys pick all that stuff up. Bunch of berries, bunch of berries. Ooh. And watch out, you can actually roll those berries out. <laughs> I forgot it happens. All right. So here, guys, you're gonna actually, this is a tricky one because if you if you go here, it's actually gonna make you fall because of that branch right there. So if you zip through here, you're gonna fall off there. And if you zip, you fall off there, you can just jump back up or look at it and there we go bam and here is the other piece of the password and make sure you look always look for notes always look around for notes and then again this door is now open once you open up the lab you can actually just enter from here and make your way back up And now we're gonna get the final piece, which is all the way on the top. So let's go all the way up top. Oh, they beat! Look! Oh man, all the robots are beating up the spiders. <laughs> Last piece that we need is gonna be over here. We're gonna make our way up here. Each lab is gonna have its own little resource area for you guys to have. It's gonna have a bunch of stuff. Make sure to grab everything that you might need. I would always go to each lab not having a lot of like in a lot of your inventory. So now we're gonna we gotta make it in there, right? We're gonna go. And I drop a little early. Because I I've missed it a bunch of times before. I just slide and just try to drop a little early. We're gonna drop in here. That is the last piece of the password. Made it over here. We can enter the password. Now we're we can enter here. And there is the hedge super chip and the last piece of data that you need for the hedge. All right. So now that you've completed this, there's still a little bit more you got to do around here. So what I recommend once you do that, you're going to start here where you've entered. Follow this area here. I don't need that light right now. And we're actually going to go find this observation tower over here. You gotta follow me exactly. Now, how I mentioned with the brood mother, you need to find the actual brood mother recipe, BLT recipe. It is actually this way over here. This is the observation tower. You actually also need that to complete all the areas. But there's also a milk molar right here, which we're going to grab. I just tread carefully here because it's easy to fall off. It's happened to me a bunch of times already. Grab your milk molar. Bam. I'm gonna make our way back. Bam.
Bam. You're actually going to get a scabby. And you're going to get the Broodmother research notes and a very beautiful view of Grounded as well. So we're going to make our way back. But we're actually going to make a little detour before you go all the way back to Burgle. Because there's still some things we got to discover. Like a couple more milk molars and a couple more locations that you do need uh, to fully complete everything in the hedge. And I think even in the hedge, the around. bird bath there is also part of it. So that's another place we're going to have to make our way to, the bird bath. That is actually another spot that is part of the hedge lab that we need to discover. There's a couple mosquitoes in there, so it's not too bad. And you see there is some milk molars there for us to grab as well. There's, a, there's actually a way to go that way. So we're actually going to go start from the beginning and make our way back up. Um, there is actually some more stuff down here for us to discover. There is a milk molar and some scabbies below. So let's go ahead and dive down here. There is a burgle chip actually in here. This is one of burgle's chips. Web samples. Like I said, that data is going to be one of Burgle's chips. If you follow this way over here, there's another milk molar. So make sure you grab this milk molar over here. Okay. So once you get this, we're actually going to keep finding some more locations because to 100% in places, you have to get all the locations here. We're missing two more, which which is what we're going to actually find right now because they're down here. There is a mixer here. If you guys seen my mixer video, we cover everything to do with the mixer. So we have a mixer here. Which that's also in one of the places that you need. As you can see, we have the mixer. And we have one last location. Which we're going to make our way over here to find. And then one thing I, I, I always mention is that Grounded always rewards people for, for exploring. Always explore, explore, explore Grounded. See, there is another chip right here. A little exhausted. Now let's review the progress of the last few months. And that's going to be the scar, the star the development. These are honestly later on everywhere, and I will cover those in another video. But there is actually one of those here in the hedge. final infinitesimal bits have proven the most difficult. Despite that, Virgil and I have been able to transit the miniature world without incident. I must admit it has been a bit overwhelming of late. Between school grading papers and honestly you guys can find all um I feel stretched the fizzman can is going to be your last set for the places for the hedge lab so that is that all that's all the locations you need to discover now there is one more milk molar over here as much as I'm loath to admit it it does seem to be thinning Perhaps it's time to dig out and there it is. It's going to be it right it. in the sure in corner, right there. Oh, hold up. It's going to be right in the corner of the hedge right here. My waypoint right there, right in the corner. It's going to be the last milk molar that you guys can get in the hedge area. And now we're going to make our way up to the bird bath. I honestly forgot that inside the can, in this Fizzman can, there's actually a... In a web. Yeah, I'm in a can. And it's pretty grand. I, s I, I, <laughs> I love when Max sings like that. It's funny. So there's another they scab location up, in here. Inside... Yeah. Inside the can. So make sure you guys go inside the can. There's going to be another. There's 
a scab in there again you need all the scabs in order to 100 percent the game so to get over to the bird bath you can build your way up there's definitely a way for you to build your way up there 100 percent but in grounded there is always a way to just parkour your way to to certain areas like we're doing right now and bam there we go we made it and again like i said for for here to really get this going when you, you need to analyze first the silk rope once you do that then you'll be able to set that up to get there but like i said where there's a will there's a way guys you can always always parkour uh, parkour mosquitoes. your way and yeah watch out there's also some mosquitoes here and mosquitoes are i hate mosquitoes so much in real life and in game and make your way over ta-da and we are here and there is a gold milk molar here you got in the upper one i think it's in the upper one yeah it's in the upper one so you get some raw science and then right here is your scabby. There's also one more scabby before I forget that you'd need to get in the hedge lab itself. So you're going to follow me right here. You're going to get on top of this bad boy here. You're going to make your way up until you see this little grass patch is here. Walk to the corner. And it's around. going to be right there. You can jump, make it, and there is the scabby right there, everybody. And that, everybody, pretty much concludes the hedge lab and everything that you can get from there. Uh, remember, the milk molars, you're going to need to graft at least a level 2 hammer. So at least you guys know the locations to go back to them in order to grab them. But yeah, that's that's all for the hedge, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna continue with the pond lab. We're gonna continue with the upper upper yard and everything. I'm gonna try to go through everything to help you guys find anything you guys haven't missed. Again, uh, if you guys are trying to 100% the game, I hope these videos are helpful. I'm gonna try to cover everything, everything, everything that you can do in Grounded uh, as we wait for new updates and stuff. But I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe because we got a lot more content still coming your way, everybody.